Fair enough. So then you come out in 92, 91? No, 92. 92. Okay. So what was it like to come out at that point? No, it was good. I went to the halfway house. It was, I only did a couple of years. I did three years, two and a half years, three years. Okay. And in 93, there was a drive-by shooting that happened. Yeah. Okay. So tell me exactly what happened in that situation. We were walking down the street, me and Michael. Turned around, seen a gun point at shots, and we got shot. Right. You got hit four times? No, I got hit twice in the ass. Okay. But your friend, uh, Michael San Changalini. Sangalini. Sorry. Your friend, Michael Sangalini, was actually shot in the chest. No, he got shot one time. On the, he put his arm up. The bullet hit him on the, over here, and then it went through his aorta. If he would have kept his arm down, he might have lived. You know what I mean? He had big arms. Right. He gets shot in the torso, and then does he die right there, or yeah. does it take a while? No, I was, he was in my arms. I was waiting for the rescue squad. Okay. Um, By the time I, they made arrived, him, what I made him go. He went in a rescue squad because he was fucking bleeding bed. And I, I, two two black kids from the neighborhood drove me to the hospital. Well, I got in a fight driving to the hospital. We got in a fight in a, driving in the car, beeping the horn. A guy guy pulled over one of the fighters. I'm shot in the back seat bleeding. This guy one of the fighters. And then I just got dropped off uh, at, outside the hospital. I willed myself in. Okay. How did it feel? Because this was like your best friend, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was. So you're holding your best friend as he's dying right in front of you. Well, I, I, yeah. I mean, I know he was in bad shape. I didn't know he died till I was in the, when I was in the hospital in my room, I put the news on and they said he was dead. I didn't know because they took him in an ambulance. When you found out that he died, how'd you feel? No, I was fucking sick. How would you feel if your fucking best friend died? Right? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what I would go through, yeah. man. Uh, you know, right. I've had people I've known get killed after the fact, but not in my arms like that, right. like right in front of me. I've never experienced that. Yeah, it was fucked up. Okay. And the rumor is, is that uh, two gunmen that were, that Stanfa actually hired were the ones who did it. I have no idea. That okay. no, I have no idea who shot me to those days. They say this one did it, that one did it. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even want to talk about it. Okay. So nobody got convicted of that is what you're saying? No. Nah. Not that I know. I don't know. I don't know. Not that I know. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, during that time, there was really like a mess that was happening. What, what, do you remember the date that that shooting happened? Was it September 17th? When I got shot? Yeah. No, I got shot. It was summer. August, August 5th, I think. Yeah, August 5th. Okay. Right. Because during that time, it was, it was a mess. Uh, Stanfa and his son got shot while on the expressway. Uh, his son ended up getting shot in the jaw. Uh, I think another one of your friends uh, got shot and killed on September of that year. No, I don't know. I don't know what you talk about there. Okay. I got charged with, the, I got charged with, with, with that shooting, and I got to quit it. Make sure you put that on there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, but at one point, this guy named Philip Coletti, he testified in court. Do you know who that is? No, I never. If he walked in here right now, i never seen him in my life. Okay. So a guy named Philip Coletti, who was allegedly hired by Stanfa, he testified in court that he planted a remote control bomb under your car several times, but it never went off. I guess he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. I don't know. I don't know him. I, his wife said she tried to kill me, too. Okay. She tried to put cyanide in my drink. She was so fucking ugly, I wouldn't even talk to her. I, I mean, how does it feel when all these people are trying to kill you? It was all right. It's all right? What about my day? I mean, did it make you think that maybe you need to just move somewhere else? No, nah, like, why? get out of this area? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. Went to dinner out drinking, went to sporting events. If that's a crime, then I'm fucking, then kill me. <laughs> Fuck what am I gonna do?